Michigan defensive end, the All-American Aiden Hutchinson. He's an absolute playmaker off of the edge. He reminds me a lot of Jared Allen. When you look at the hands, the use of the hands, the motor that he has, the guy never gives up on a play. Even if it's a, if it's a run away from him, you're never going to question his effort. You're definitely not going to question his ability. Ended up being one of the leaders on that Michigan team this year that won the Big Ten championship, and he was a big part of it. Uh, he's a taller, a little bit longer than Jared Allen, but he's a guy that you look at coming into your franchise, being maybe the face of your franchise, but a perennial Pro Bowl caliber player. Alabama wide receiver Jamison Williams is the best wide receiver in this year's draft class. The only hang-up is the torn ACL and how teams are going to view that coming into his rookie year. He reminds me of Deshaun Jackson when you look at the slender frame, but the big play ability. No one could change the game quicker than Jamison Williams this past year. There's no doubt about it. He still has some development to his, his route running ability, and we don't know again how his rehab will play a factor but he's one of the most explosive players and probably would have gotten drafted higher than he'll go in this year's draft if not for the injury. Kentucky edge rusher Josh Pascal has one of the highest motors of any edge rusher in the 2022 NFL draft. He reminds us a lot of Robert Windsor. And with Pascal, I love how developed his pass rush move arsenal is. He can beat blockers in a variety of ways and will be able to do so as a rookie in the NFL. Plus, at six foot three and almost 270 pounds, he plays with a low center of gravity that generates a lot of power in his bull rush. As far as weaknesses go, although there is good burst to, to Pascal's game, he doesn't have a lot of bend around the corner, which will make him a little bit one dimensional once he's a professional. Kirby Joseph, the safety out of Illinois, reminds me a lot of Jesse Bates, the Bengals safety who's coming off a fantastic run to the Super Bowl. Kirby Joseph's anticipation skills from the deep safety position are through the roof. He'll break on the ball like a cornerback and is a missile coming downhill in the run game. He plays primarily deep center field, but he can line up in the box, and when he does, he's consistently a disruptive presence in the backfield. He'll cover a ton of ground coming from the heavens. He'll get downhill quickly on end of rounds, and he's almost always in position to limit the big plays. Against the pass, he's rangy, shows off deep speed on tape, and covers a lot of ground in the deep half of the field on long developing routes. Joseph didn't run the combine or at his pro day, so we don't have an official 40 time for him. That said, he plays plenty fast. He'll occasionally whip on arm tackles in space, and he can sometimes get pushed around into the line of scrimmage when providing run support, but all told, he's a really good player coming off a strong 2021 campaign for Illinois. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.